Hello. Yes. It's review time, and um, we're going to review a good racing game that I had when I was a kid. Really thought it was a good simulation type game. Nigel Mansell's Grand Prix. What we're going to do, we're just going to go straight into a five lap race instead of going through practice, we don't need to practice. I know it's a while since I played this game, but we'll just go qualify race. Don't need to practice, so basically, like normal, we'll start off in the pit lane. Can't control the car at this point until we leave the, leave the pit lane or get close to the pit lane to leave. So then it's now to start controlling it. It's a bit difficult to control, but apart from that, when you get used to it, it's fine. It's just good, it's just got a judgy corner in. You know, like a proper simulation. But this is a manual gear. It's, you've got to change gear manually. You know, I don't think there's an option you can change have it automatically. So see, I'm all over the bloody roads already. So, I mean, the only other one that I played that you, you had a choice, you didn't have a choice in manual. You had to drive in manual, and that was 3D Grand Prix which was a recent game that I've played, never played that years ago, but this I played years ago. This I, this I thought was a good game, the graphics are nice. I think the graphics are really nice for an 8-bit computer. Oh, just come off the track there, just have to dis decelerate. When we come, just change gear, you know. But you all spin, spin, so what you've got to do is turn the other way to control the spin and you just carry on. So I like I like the way the flames, when you change your gear, the flames come out the back. It's a good tip to touch. I mean, graphics wise, this is nice, really nice graphics. The colours are really nice. It really looks like the Nigel Mansell's Williams Honda back in the day. I don't know, 886, I think this was. Might be in a. Don't quote me on that. Oh, I don't know, sometime in the yeah, mid 80s anyway. anyway. So all these um, gauges, they all actually work. They all, they all actually, can, you can have problems with the car. Let's just see it there. Uh, trying to drive and talk, so it's pretty difficult. So, oh, what's, oh my god. Oh, it's control to spin now. Oh, Change down the gears, come on. Fourth gear. Up the fifth. So get a nice bit of speed on. So what we've got. We even have telemetry down the bottom there. From the computer and to the from the pits computer. So it's pretty good, pretty well detailed. So, second qualifying lap so I don't know where so, yeah. All right, let's concentrate on the race on the qualifying if you've got to qualify to order to race the car race in your Formula One car um, sometimes it's hard to get down these corners you have to slow them up. Don't, can't judge the speed for some reason. Uh, that's just me. What's this? God, oh, bloody hell, that's close. Just pulled right out in front of you. So, I don't know, what's his name? Andrew de Cesaris. He was a pretty dodgy driver back in the day. Always used to crash. Don't know whatever happened to him. Well, he probably got old. And I think he's done life surprise me, all the fucking crashes he had when he was a Formula 1 driver. But yeah, but this is the great Nigel Mansell in driving his car. On his world championship back in 92. Remember that. And we're on our final qualifying lap. So, oh, we just lost it. Come on, turn the other way and you save the car. It's good. Now we've got to change down the gears to get some acceleration back up again. Here we go. As I say, really nice dark racing game. Played this a few times back in the day. I mean, 
the graphics, this is really, I thought it was really high detailed. That, that way the car looks. Oh, the spinning it again, come on, fire control, yes. Pretty simple to fire for control. I don't know if this was my best Formula 1 game, but it's near enough at the top, I'd say, because it's slightly different to Formula 1 Simulator was probably one of my best I played on. Ignore that, it's my phone going off. And the other cars are quite detailed. A bit of Ferrari going past us. So, three lap qualifying, so let's see where this brings us on the grid. So we cross the line. Qualifying session over, we're starting on pole. Oh, I thought we did pretty bad, so now we're on pole position now, to 30 seconds. So we'll get some reps in the car. Well, I don't know why, but wait, actually 20 seconds now. Oh, fuck! I just jumped the start. That's a good. I like that, that's pretty good. Don't know how many chance you get when you jump the start, but, but you know, usually in Formula 1 you jump the start you get a penalty. You have to start with the back or, or you get a penalty, yeah, you probably get a stop and go penalty, something like that. Or 10 second go, 10 second stop and go penalty, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, put the car in gear, yes, here we go. That's where he's going to accelerate us. Shit, bloody hell, look at the car. Oh, this is cunt. Oops, sorry. There we go. Catching up with him. Look at him, what the fuck? Just pulls right and straight in front of you. Closes the door on us. Where's this? Here goes that. I don't know. It's only a blue car. Oh. Slowing down that Ferrari. Ooh, going down, and there he goes. Murray Walker was here to commentate on this. Oh! Oh, what the f. Just had a crash. I don't know if we've got a damage indicator somewhere, I can't. Uh, turbo temperature, I don't know if he. Use all this stuff and does it automatically. Well, I can't see a dam any damage. Oh, we lost it! Oh, come on, we're getting control, oh shit. Oh, bloody hell, that was bad. Slowed right down, I have to go right down the gearbox this time. Come on, what the fuck is going on here? And, uh, oh, bloody hell, I can't see all this. What he's saying at the bottom, bloody hell, look at all this lot. When I'm truly down from pole position, terrible first lap. Yeah, you can have f car can fail, like you can have a gearbox failure, your car can start misfiring and other problems, you can run in, temperatures can rise and creates these problems for your car and you can go actually go in the pits, do tire tire changes, um, fix your car and we fucking lost it again. Oh no. Oh, oh that was a good save. Look at this city. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Car four. Oh, I'm in eighth place. Oh, that's a terrible start for me. Composition. It's really bad. I'm doing very well on this at the moment. Mind you, I haven't played it for a long time, so I've got a good excuse to say that. But back to the race. Oh, shit. Yeah, just got to get used to the manual gearbox. That's why once you've mastered it, it's pretty, you find it easy, like with all games. Um, uh, you know, I've done, I don't know what track we started at, actually. I know you could do like a full Grand Prix. That'd be interesting. Probably you'd be like same time as to now you're pulling the pit. I know it's asking us to pull in the pits but you know can't be bothered all this slow traffic ahead they've probably just been in the pits. Oh no Oh Christ Oh we've lost it bollocks you have damaged your car severely damaged your car 
So it's game over. So yeah, it was a good game. Well, that's the end of this review. I hope you enjoyed it, and goodbye.